Okay, so we have that septic patient that had these vital signs and we're trying to choose what vasopressor we should use. Let's talk about it. Okay, so between epinephrine and norepinephrine, the best choice in this kid particular case is norepinephrine for a septic patient. Why is that? Well, the main reason is if you look at the pathology of sepsis and what's going on in the body, we have a decreasing blood pressure because we start having a really poor systemic vascular resistance. We also have a increasing heart rate in order to try and compensate for that decreasing systemic vascular resistance, which is the squeeze of those vessels. And so what we're going to do, or we're, if what we would do if we gave epinephrine is that we would increase that heart rate even further. So increase that compensation factor. Now the problem with that is that the more we increase the heart rate, the more fill time we decrease, meaning the faster the heart rate, the less time we have to fill these ventricles with blood before contraction. Now how is that a th problem? Is that yes, at first we may be able to try and you know compensate and get a little bit of blood pressure out of this. But if we continue to increase that heart rate, ultimately we are going to decrease our stroke volume because we're not going to be able to fill the ventricles with blood. And so that's where norepi kind of comes into play is that the main problem with, with sepsis right now is we need to give them fluids to fill the tank so that way we can improve the systemic vascular resistance. But we also need to squeeze that tank. And so that's why we would give norepinephrine in this case because we'd be treating the blood pressure problem by treating the systemic vascular resistance and leaving the heart rate alone. And we ultimately would increase the stroke volume as well with norepinephrine again leaving that heart rate alone to just do its compensating and you may even see that heart rate start to decrease as you start to improve this problem so that's why norepinephrine is a little bit better than epinephrine doesn't mean that you shouldn't use it or can't use it it's just that they're between the two because we leave that heart rate alone and we're just focusing on the alpha receptors themselves with norepinephrine makes it a stronger choice in this case